Shalom, beloved. A word. This is about laying down two and getting up three. One of them cannot be seen yet. And in order to do this, I have to share 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 13 through 14. Which things also we speak, not in the word which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. When we speak to one another about the spiritual truths open up to us, if you're speaking to a carnal-minded person, it may not be understood. He can't know them. She can't know them because they are spiritually understood. But I want to share this with you, and it, it is brief. It's been on my mind and it's laying there and staying there based on the conversation that some young men were having as they recognized their attraction to young women. And they had to get it, hit it, split it and quit it attitude. And I advised them about how you can lay down two and get up three. One of them cannot be seen yet. But the power of that act is written about in the word and it will walk you through your life. It will change the direction that you go in because everything we do has a consequence. It has a result. Many young men, they take care of their children and they're to be commended, but those are not the young men I'm speaking to. This is a warning. The same warning I gave those young men because it's laying on me, it's staying on me. I'm walking around talking about it to myself and the spirit. And then I concluded that this is meant to be shared. It's meant to be heard. For to get it, hit it, split it, and quit it. You lay down two, you get up three. One of you cannot be seen yet. But unless you hear the words of the spirit and discern them, that there's a warning. We're going to go to Proverbs 5. We're going to the ninth verse. It's talking about the young men that turn in unto the strange woman. This is a woman he doesn't have intent to plan a life with. He doesn't intend to stay with her. But his behavior, his behavior, he's being warned about being enticed by the quick and the easy to get it, hit it, split it, and quit it. Never understanding he can lay down two and get up three, one of you cannot be seen yet. How does Proverbs 5 explain itself? When we get to the ninth verse, we read, lest thou give thine honor unto others. What is thine honor? Thy children and thy years unto the cruel. All the youth, all the beauty, you're giving this child to a strange woman who's going to be raised by a strange man, not his father. And some of these men will not be loving the child. They just want the mother. And they surely won't love the child like the father would love the child. But all those years, all that life you're giving to somebody who has no love for that child. Let strangers be filled with thy wealth. Now, in the case of the good stepfather, this child grows up, he does, he or she does well in life. And everything that they accrue when they share with their parents, a stranger is filled with the wealth that came from your loins. And thy labors be in the house of a stranger. As we grow older, our children help us but there will be no child because your child is in the house of a stranger. That son, that daughter that's in the vicar of their youth, they're giving their power, their strength to a stranger. Children are an inheritance from the Lord. When we look at Psalm 127, 
Lo, children are heritage of the Lord. Their heritage, what is a heritage? A special or individual possession, an allotted portion, okay? A special or individual perception, possession, an allotted portion, property that is or may be inherited, an inheritance, you inherit it because that child's got your DNA. That child carry you, everything inside of you that the Most High gave you. Lo, children are in heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. It's a reward to have a child. But if you lay down with a stranger, you are giving your heritage to another. And the reward to a stranger as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Yes, many times your enemies will divert their paths. They won't even come nigh you because they know you have sons and daughters and they don't want to encounter them. Sometimes just having that child, a wise child, a good child, will cause many people to either turn to you with kindness or refuse to do evil to you. <clears throat> As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. They know about your sons and your daughters. Again, some people don't even realize that that young man or that young woman is your child. And even if they don't think kindly of you for whatever reason, they like your child. And when they recognize that that child is your child, as arrows are in the hands of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. But for those who hit it, split it, and quit it, Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. Lest thou give thine honor to others and thy years unto the cruel. Some people, it could be the man that doesn't like you that ends up with the mother and your child looks like a spit out image. But the hit it, quit it, split it, and get it, and gone, think, well, I'm just going to move in, move out, you know. Lay down two, get up three, one of them you cannot see yet. And just to finish it, because I don't want this to be long, but it laid on me, it stayed on me so much that I am doing this now because somebody is supposed to hear it. Somebody thinks because he recognizes the power of his handsomeness that he can go and get who he wants. Child support courts, 18 years in your paycheck. And it's still not over because one day that young man, that young woman is going to walk right up on you and say, Daddy, why? And just like we expect our parents to love and take care of us, so do our children. So if you have to get it, hit it, split it, and quit it, remember you can lay down two and get up three, even if one of them cannot be seen yet. And you don't want a man that's your enemy to end up being the father of your child, lest thou give thine honor unto others and thy years unto the cruel. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth. We know children are a heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. I'm not downing people that already have children and may have gone through this experience. I'm just telling you from the young men I heard talking And that was their plan until we had that conversation. Let strangers be filled with that wealth. Yes, beloved, your children are your wealth. They're an inheritance from the Lord. And thy labors be in the house of a stranger. As you get older, as our bodies break down, our children help us, okay? But if they're not there because another man 
took care of them and they hold a lot of contempt for their fathers. Your labors are in the house of a stranger and thou mourn at the last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed, you're growing old. And say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. We go back below. As these instructions are given, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things unto spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. When I gave this advice, I hope the young men could understand. One of them has two children by two different women. And he shook his head going, I know what you mean. And I was like, you need to explain it to your friend. Handsome alone, there is a curse and a blessing in beauty. It's a curse and a blessing, beloved. Depending on how you use it, it's a word, beloved. Lay down two, get up three. One of them cannot be seen yet. Let the spirit lead and guide you. Let it explain those things that time, without listening to the spirit, time will reveal them. But if you allow that spiritual discernment to come in, it will lead us beloved. Don't give your honor to another, nor put your children in the hands of the crew. It's a word, beloved, it stayed with me. There is somebody that's meant to hear it. There's somebody that's meant to know this word so that it, it determines your footsteps. Shalom, beloved, a word.